Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to navigate the city of Guck and of course Lower Guck. So basically we're talking about Upper Guck and Lower Guck. The reason why I want to show you this video is because a lot of people have trouble getting to and from Lower Guck and they need to know where the camps are. Now I want to thank uh, one of the viewers out there who requested this video. He said that uh, He's had trouble getting to the camps, gets killed along the way, and it made me think for a minute. You know what? Same thing has happened to me before in the past, and I wish there was a video like this. So thanks to him for requesting this. Once again, any of you out there that have good ideas or uh, need help doing something, uh, stuff except epics, I'd like to help you out with these videos because I'm here to help you get to where you want to go. Okay, so anyway, this is it. This is uh, Upper Guck. And you start out here and let's go ahead and show you what we've got so first things first when you start out here I'm showing you as an enchanter and the reason why is because with an enchanter I have the flexibility to show you both inviso and dead regular invisibility memory blurs comms root and everything all the tools you may need in getting there and it uh, it won't this character won't die on the way down there it can live so I don't have to make the video uh, 50 times to get it right. I can get it right on the first try. So um, let's go ahead and get the Merc out of the way so it's not blocking the view here. First thing you need to know with Guck is this. If you haven't killed anything in the upper side or the live side, you're going to con dubious to them. This is good because if you're dubious, they won't attack you at all. They definitely won't and that's great. If you're a dark elf and you haven't killed them or a troll, they're going to hate you anyway. But if you're like me, you're a gnome or a high elf or a good race, they're going to be friendly towards you. And this is what you want. So it'll make your life a lot easier. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to pop up the map. And I'm going to show you where you come in. If you're another class like a druid or a wizard or something like that, your secure point will bring you right back to the entrance here. It's good to know that this is where you're going to come when you secure. Finally, the tools that we're going to need goes without saying you're going to need uh, some kind of invisibility and some kind of invisibility undead if you're going to navigate the dead side. If you're just going to navigate the live side, you can get away with using regular invisibility. But this video is going to focus mainly on getting to the dead, getting to lower guck, navigating the dead side, and possibly navigating the live side. I will say this, probably about 80, maybe 90% of the camps that you're going to find in Lower Guck are going to be in the dead side. People rarely camp the live side. For example, camps like the Evil Eye, they just, they're just like drive-by camps. They go in to pick off that camp. Sometimes people camp um, a little bit deeper, like the Noble or the Herbalist, but those camps are usually taken by people camping the King Room. And the reason why is the spawn times are so long down there that nobody's really camping down there at all. They're, they're not worried about it. So <clears throat> they're going to they're gonna camp the king room. They're going to take all those other camps and all the way up t uh, to the noble and and so forth. They can carry it. They can basically cover a larger area. So on the live side, there's only really one real camp. And I would say that is... The king room that's only worthwhile one down there are there's maybe the crusader that's that's kind of worth it too but uh it's only one real camp there but if you look at the dead side there's a lot of camps over there's uh the camp called the ham lord which is the hand uh archmagus and the lord that's one camp there you've got the executioner sometimes that's lumped in with the sage so that's another camp and you've got the frenzy that's another camp then you've got the uh, assassin supplier that's another camp so you count it that's like four four camps there and if the zone is really really busy uh people it'll break in even more camps you have one group just doing nothing but the executioner one group doing nothing but uh assassin supplier and one group just sitting in there doing the frenzy and so with that said it really depends on what the population or your server is on a TLP server, a new TLP server that hasn't gotten out of Classic yet, 
those camps are going to be packed all the time and you're going to have pick jumpers in it if your tlp server is past that there's not going to be many people in there this is going to greatly affect how you get to and from your camp because if the place is really camp it's quite easy to get to where you're going but if there's not many people in there it's a whole nother thing it's a lot lot harder anyway so let's go ahead and first talk about quickly the spells you're going to need what i strongly suggest is you have some kind of levitation getting to lower guck no matter what even in the uh dead the lower guck dead side live side you should have levitation there's many reasons why we'll go over that i don't want to make this video too long but there it is i have perfected levitation you can just get regular levitation it doesn't wear off in the middle or anything like that you should also have some form of invisibility either one you can cast on yourself or a potion you can buy those potions if you're on a tlp server you should have invisibility undead this is necessary some mobs see invisible undead some don't see it and sometimes the mobs are kind of mixed up in there which brings me to my next point if they are mixed up in it you're going to have to use spells like calm if you have them memory blur and root so you're going to have to use a possible combination of these when we get down there we're going to see what happens because on this server Lower Guck is fully spawned, so it's going to be difficult. Okay, so first things first, I suggest, unless you're short on potions, you pop group perfected invisibility just to get used to it. But anyway, let's go and take our make our way down there. Oh, I should put up the map here. You can see right here we went straight down, took the first uh, intersection to the right. Now uh, we're going to go and we're going to go ahead and follow this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this is the way I always go to Lower Guck. I like this more than any other way because it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to remember and there aren't too many intersections that can get you confused. So you come down here, you take a right, you're going to follow the waterway around here like this until you get out of the water. So once we get out of the water, I'll show you where we are. Once again, these guys are dubious everything up here cannot see inviso so um, if you have regular inviso on you're gonna be fine so we're gonna go around here and just avoid these guys swamp water crocodile people sometimes farm this area for experience and we're gonna go this way and here we're out so now we're out over here and you see good old witch doctor he is still dubious if you're in your 20s you're not going to have a problem down here at all. But keep in mind, if they don't like you, they will aggro on you. So let's go down here. This is a Froglock Scryer camp right up there. The mobs are about 23, uh, 16, and 16. The mob on the right is Froglock Scryer. So keep in mind that um, he may be up. He's an enchanter, but usually this area is camped. Uh, at the point of my cursor, I'll show you where the people are going to camp. They're going to usually be standing right here. And they're going to be right here and they're going to stand and camp this area. So they're going to cover these mobs over there too. So first thing you should do come in when you come into the zone is do something like this here. And you just do a camp check like this. And you say it out of uh, character, OOC camp check or CC, people will respond back. If they're taking this froglock scryer room, then you know that you can come right through here. And you're not going to have to worry about it. If you're a bad race, that is something to be concerned about. Let's go down a little bit further. Oh, put the map up again. So you see this froglock scryer room. He's right there. Now we're going to go down a level. We're going to keep going. And uh, we're going to go this way here. You can see me over there and I'm going to go across here. Let's turn on height filter so you can get a better idea. The guys that you have down here are level 15, still not a big deal. Take a right. And, and once again, if you're watching this and you're not sure where to go, rewind, um, go back, watch the video. It's perfectly all right to do. And you can do this here. Keep going, keep going stay to the right against the wall and we're going to go all the way down here at some point the surface is going to get slick okay so let's go ahead and take off uh, levitation 
watch this should happen somewhere we're still levitating so let's take that off see how it's still sliding like that this area here see I'm sliding like that this is a slippery area you got to be careful with the slippery area. whoops okay that's okay but watch this I go straight and I try to turn to the right I'm sliding okay this is a, a dangerous area because if you slide over here you can continue to slide and could get you messed up when you're going to this point so let's go ahead and uh, check these heart spiders heart spiders are indifferent see you don't have to worry about them let's go ahead and pop the levitation on this is where I put levitation on because it's very important that when you get to this area as you can see right here we have got to cross the heart spider area and um, you want to hit page up when you go forward you want to be careful go like this there's a little wood plank uh, that you can go over right here you do not want to fall into the side there even though there's a ladder it's just a lot of trouble bad things are gonna happen if the mobs hate you bad bad thing gonna happen okay so the level 13 are not that big a deal and go to about here and just hop off like this so we're gonna keep going this way on the right you can see it's in green I know it's a little hard to see and we're gonna continue on you got these guys are getting a little bit higher in level 19 a little deeper in here let's keep going and going and now we have reached the dead side entrance this is the preferred place to enter uh, you won't see this decrepit frog lock guy He's level 50 he's a quest mob you won't see him out there uh, on TLP servers I believe so let me point out a couple of things too when we look at the map there are two underwater entrances to go to lower Guck. I really strongly advise you don't take those uh, routes at all it's just too much trouble and you're gonna end up in a weird spot um, and I don't suggest that you go in to lower Guck through the live side see where my mouse is this is this is the live side over here and it's it seems like it's good but the reality is it's actually quite dangerous because when you go through the live side there's always one mob in the live side that can see inviso and that guy is going to screw everything up i've gone that way before and what's happened is one somebody's seen my inviso they attack you they drop it then everything comes on you i've even gone down there with two enchanters and we still had a lot of trouble maintaining the thing. We had to actually evac out of there. So it seems easy, but it's it's actually very, very tricky. The way we're going to go is actually tricky to go, but in reality, it's easy if the area is camped. Let's talk quickly about the other notable spawns. The other notable spawn is Ancient Croc. That's a great spawn and camp area. You have the priest down here. Um, and then you have there's a Shin Lord. He's up near the front underneath here. And we're not going to cover that today, but we're going to go into Lower Guck. So now that you made it right here, you see where we are. This is it. You've got it right there. So now you're all set. So let's go ahead and zone on in. This is a zone in. You have to be careful right here because one thing, when people train stuff out, it could be hitting you right now at the moment you come in. This is where people die upon being trained. <clears throat> unintentionally the people on the other side don't know you're coming you don't know what they're bringing so anything can happen right here okay so once again we're going to creep up use this way here see he's still dubious to you right because you haven't killed any frogs up there but if you didn't know if he's dubious or not go ahead and pop your regular visit and you can see he's indifferent he's level 29 some people camp the entrance here. Uh, it's pretty safe to camp. They can go back the other way. Now, this is another good, pl good place to mention. When you go down here, there are lots and lots of trains. People will be working this area. People will be coming down here. If you have your regular Inviso up, you can simply go over here. And if they're bringing a, a, a big train of dead side stuff, you can go to about right here. They're always going to train the stuff. See, like, look at this guy coming here. Okay, so here we're going to show you what happens. And he's going to go the other way. And see, he, he aggroed on me, but my pet killed him. But that guy will come like that. So they're also, whoops, more stuff. So they're also going to go 
up here and then they're going to go this way so that guy shouldn't be there what's going to happen is the train is going to come up this way so if you hear the train coming or somebody uh, says train you know to zone or something like that you know it's coming to here just back up to right here they'll train everything out there let the train go by don't try to get stuck up there okay so next thing we're going to do is these guys here they're okay with this next problem area is going to be down here right here this is your first dead side mob and he can see you but if you go ahead and you cast invisibility undead then you con him again and he can't see you. okay so this is this is where it all starts so before you take the turn here you should transition somewhere around right here to invisibility undead pop your inviso undead potion right here don't wait till you get to there or anything if the train comes from here and you've gotten this far and it's a train coming it's going to be an undead train there's not going to be any live things in it at all because nobody trains the upstairs stuff to the downstairs it's always the other way coming so get to here if you have regular inviso get to here change your inviso by casting invisibility undead right here now hang on guys it's going to get a little tricky so now you got this guy here and if there's not many people he will be here look at this here we've got these guys here so they will all attack me <clears throat> if uh, they see me, but they don't see me at all. And in fact, I can actually get rid of the pet. Uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of the pet just to make it more, a little bit more realistic. From here, you're going to be going into the bedroom, which is on the other side of this wall right there. So let me show you one thing that's nice about being a gnome. One thing that's nice is you're small. Second thing is you get gnomovision. With gnomovision, you can look through the wall. So you can go like this. You can also go like this. Go to third person and move the screen like this to get an idea. So you can see in the water. You can see if there's frogs in the water and whatnot. Also, if this group isn't here, you can go through and see this here you can see the bedroom. Okay, so now that we are looking through the wall and we can see the bedroom, you got Shin Ghoul Knight, one, two, you've got three of these guys and you got, so they're all undead in here. You can see what the situation is. This isn't really important because if there's another camp in here, you can see if anybody's camping it. You can see what who's camping it, what the situation is. Usually they're gonna be sitting right here, right in front of me, or they're gonna camp right there. Sometimes they sit right here because people that come through train a whole bunch of stuff they'll stay right in the corner on the lower left hand side of the screen people will train a whole bunch of stuff and they'll usually get killed off right there so that's how they'll they'll work the bedroom so um this is important to see right here so now that we know that and i'm in first person mode i like to usually go underwater in first person mode so follow along and i'll show you how that's done so once again let's go ahead and uh set this like this Make sure if you're not a good swimmer, pop an enduring breath potion early. But generally, this uh, swim is good enough to make without enduring breath. And if you focus on where I'm going, I'm going right around this way. Okay, so now I've popped out. They don't see me. Notice that over here, I was looking through the wall. See the other end of the wall is over there. See the ghoul knight? That's where I looked through and I could see right through here. Now, it's gonna get really tricky because you have two ways to go. You have this way to go and you have this way to go. But what is the best way to go? In my opinion, it's best to go left. Because if you go left, you you will, you will if you're really, really careful, you can get around these guys over here. There's some ice bone skeletons. You can get around the whole thing without having to change your invisibility. When you're down here, <clears throat> you're only going to have so much time. You're going to have to make this a good run because your next goal is to get over to the assassin supplier camp, which is right down here. So you, that's your goal. It's a little bit tricky. So let's just creep along. I'll do it real slow and show you. Once again, zoom in the map, go like this. Okay, you see that bat over there around the corner? He was a problem. 
See how they got the bats like this? So if I go here and I stay left and hug the corner, I should be able to get away from them. They, they kind of look in this direction so you can get past them. One thing to keep in mind is the lower your level, the greater their sensitivity to aggro is, meaning if they see you as a low level, they're going to be really on you like white on rice. So when you come through here, you want to stay to the left. You got to be really careful. Another way to do it is this. If this room has been cleared out already and um, perhaps they haven't cleared this out, you can go ahead and you can use calm on them. You can target them and use a calm. And that you can do if you can get them. Like this. So I've targeted him like that. And then you can calm him. But you have to be careful because right here, this other guy can see you and the other person can see you there. But basically, hug the wall to the left. See, you're just far enough. If you make it real quick, he won't see you. But from this area, you should be able to pacify them. What I would do first is pacify here. Let's see, we're clear of the other guy. Let's go ahead and pacify this guy here. Uh, he's going to get the first pacify. As for the pacify to use, use the calm spell. It goes up to level 50. And in addition to that, it lasts 42 um, seconds. It has a reaction radius of 5, which is the strongest. And even pacify is the same thing. So it'll be able to pacify this whole thing. What I would do first is if you look at the level here, he's 27. Vampire bet is 31. So you have to kind of judge which one is a little closer. But let's just show you how you could do this. Let's go ahead and calm this vampire bat. Okay, got one. This is if you're uh, a classic and calm, like a cleric or something like that, paladin. You calm this one. And we're going to go ahead and calm this guy here. Calm him. Now you can get past him. But if you don't have the ability to calm them, you got to go like this. You get ready. See how I made that quick run right through there? Then you're going to come up on another camp. This is a greater ice bone camp. Now this one, all you have to do is make sure that you get invisibility undead. So the real key back there is getting past the vampire bats right there. That is a real secret to the whole thing. In fact, F, they've already dropped the, uh, the calm on them. But just hug the wall left like this. Everybody does it. you got to be fast. When you get to this area right here, quickly hug the wall and come around this way right here. And then when you're here, you can pop your invisibility undead. Hopefully everything goes all right. If somebody's in the bedroom and they haven't pulled this, just bring the mobs back to them or let them know you're going to go through. You can bring some back, say, you know, I may bring a few back or whatever. Communicate with them. Otherwise, just make the run through here. But that's how to do this now. And we're going to go this way. We're going to stay to the right. Pretend that we don't have invisibility and dead. In fact, we're going to go ahead and drop that. And I'm going to stay to the right. Like so. Okay, now Inviso Undead going back up. See how I did that? Should be about right here. And this is out of their aggro range, okay? So he can't see you. So if you get to about right, I would say, here. This is safe. You get to here, it's safe. You can get just to this point here where the wall changes. You'll see it about right there before you get too far around this corner and hit your Inviso bit. Make sure that you have invisibility undead when you're going around there. If not, get to here. Now from this point on, what you're going to have is the assassin supplier camp, which is out there, is usually going to be pulling this area and um, or the bedroom could be pulling this area. So then you go up here and over here to the left, you have the ritualist spawn. He's a rare creature. Ritualist will spawn there. You have the wizard. And over here is where it gets a little tricky. This is where you have the gargoyles. As you can see, the gargoyles can see through invisibility. So um, you have to keep in mind what's being pulled around here. Right down in front of me, 
this downward area is the way to the safe hall right below. So it's important to know where this is. But let's go ahead and talk about the camps real quick. Let's go ahead, go forward. This room in here is generally where the assassin supplier group set up. If the if it's not too crowded, they're going to set up right here. If the server is really crowded and there's not many places, they're going to set up up on top of the ladder there. We're going to go ahead and take a look up here. One thing to keep in mind is that the assassin and supplier, one of them will see through Inviso. If you get stuck, like just what happened to me, see, I can't go up, can't go down. And hit rewind, got it? And then do it all over again. So I like to go up in kind of like a first person, but if you go up in a third person, you get the advantage of seeing what's on top. There he is. So there's a ghoul assassin right there. Okay, let's do this here. Now, keep in mind we have invisibility undead. He can see through your invisible undead. This is this is going to be a problem if you're up here. And let's go up just a little more. Okay, there's the assassin. See how he moves around? If he sees you, the whole room will aggro on you. Get all three of them. There he is. So he, oh, and this is a fabled version because we're on the test server here. So there he is, fabled ghoul assassin. And this one is level 60. We should just kill him for fun to see what happens. But um, yes, okay, so fabled ghoul assassin. Let's go down. Now that we're done with the assassin here, let's go back down. Okay, so we're done with that. That's how you get to the assassin. Next thing you can do is there's a way to drop down if you want to go to the executioner camp. You can drop down right here all the way down and get to there. But let's go ahead and show you the stairways instead. We still have Inviso Undead up. You should be okay. Nothing here sees Inviso Undead except for the ghoul assassin. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to show you the executioner camp. I'm going to put on height filter and zoom in. Notice we're still in Viso, nothing sees us. Using Invisibility Undead right here, Group Perfected. It's the same thing as yours, it just never wears off. But yours should last fine, long time. Let's check these guys out. He is indifferent, see, they're all indifferent. Eh, indifferent. Now that we're down here, you can see here, we're going to go ahead and head to the Executioner Camp. So once again, follow along. If you need to rewind, this is very easy. You are now. This is a Sage. So Sage is usually with Executioner. And it's a tough room to pull. There's a lot of stuff in there. But we're going to go ahead and just go to the Executioner Room. And there it is. The Executioner Room is here. So you can see, look at all the mobs in there. Executioner can spawn there, right there. He can be a roamer. I've seen that. So generally this is a placeholder right there. So that's the executioner spawn here. So if they say they're an executioner, they're probably down here, right around here somewhere, work in this area. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to, I'm gonna show you from when you're down here, it's actually a better way to get to the safe hall is to go back upstairs. I would suggest that if you do it that way, it's a lot easier. And this is a sage. We don't want to go to the sage. I'm going to go back. This is a savant room. Okay, so you can see the savant room. I wanted to show you that.
And this is a way up. When you get up here, you should go like this. Make sure you, you keep height filter on. It makes it a lot easier. We're going to go up the stairs. As you can see here, a little bit tricky going around here. We're back to the assassin supplier area. Let's go over here. This is the easy way to get to the safe hall. And the safe hall is the area you want to get to when you are going to the rest of the dead side. So here we are. We're lined up this way. You see the ritualist. This is the way you came. And this is the way down. Make sure your invisibility undead is up. And you can take a fall here. If you have levitate, just lev down here and in you go. So there we go. We're, this is a safe hall. It's safe everywhere. People just jump down, come down here, and they set up here. This is the way you want to go in order to get to the Frenzy Sentinel. Frenzy Sentinel is one camp. Or if you're going to go to Ham Lord, notice Hand, Archmagus, and the Lord, he's up there. This group will control this whole area usually. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how to get to Frenzy first. This is a really important camp because this is where you get the flowing black silk sash. We're going to go here. We're going to take a right. And we're going to go around here like this. And you have to, it's good to keep Lev up because if you notice the map, there's some traps here. Like uh, fake areas you can fall through. Once again, the mobs do not see Invisible Undead. If you have Lev, you can just go straight over this. If you don't have Lev, you're gonna go through the fake wall. You're gonna go through the fake wall down here, like so. Here we go, like that. And you can see in the middle here, this is a ladder. There's a ladder if you fall through the trap. Let's go this way. And here we go. We're gonna come up on it. And this is the frenzy camp. Um and this is, let me talk a little bit about this. This frenzy camp here has three here. Any one of these uh, spots can spawn the frenzy. And let's talk about the levels, level 41, level 37, and 41. So keep in mind, this is what you're gonna need to fight. There will usually be a group camping this. They will be somewhere like right here. And they will go and cover all these mobs back here and take the sentinel too. So the frenzy will take this whole side here. And this is the best one of the best camps. Okay, so we're done with this. Let's go back to the other side, Hamlord. And uh, once again, this camp can be done a couple different ways. And it depends on where they are, but I'm going to show you how to get there. See, once again, good to have Lev because you can just go like that. And go right over there you don't have to worry about the trap or getting confused it's you want as many straight lines as possible go this way now we're going to go this way we're going to go up let's focus on this we're getting close to a really tricky area so let's go up to here around here and now you notice if you look at this here this is a trap the trap part is off to either side. It's not the middle. The middle is okay part. So you notice the map. If you need to know how to install Bree Wall maps, go ahead and I have a video on that. Search Bree Wall. So you want to go straight through the middle, not the sides. Now, the thing is, is when you get through this, the trap is in the middle. So it's one of those things. So you go here. See, now when you get here, align yourself in this fashion so you stay away from this middle tile here that's what you want to stay away from so just hug the side like so and you can avoid this when you have the maps it's very very helpful it helps a lot what you're going to be where you're going to be now is you're going to be on the hand the hands on that side and over there is archmagus the group may be setting up somewhere up here like there so they're going to be pulling the hand all this and this it all depends on the group and how strong they're and what level but generally the highest level group will be covering this area so let's talk about the archmagus side so the archmagus side what you have to remember is there are fake walls like here 
So this is a fake wall here, and Archmagus is in here. There's only three mobs. One, two, three. One here, two, three. Let's go through, and I'll show you. I got this guy. Once again, if you're a gnome, you just go like this, and you take a look in here. Ooh, looks like we got somebody. Somebody's inviso in there. See what's how nice it is being a, a, a gnome? There he is. Okay, so there he is. There's the uh, ghoul Archmagus. Okay, there he is. So see, now you can see right through here. And this is really, really important. So you can see who, where they're camping and, and you can even see this guy without even having track. So you know the ghoul Archmagus is sitting right there. He's got his buddy right there. And you won't see him unless you have C Inviso loaded up. So keep that in mind. Have your C Inviso loaded up, and that's a camp. That's how you can see it when you're in gnome vision. You can also achieve the same result if somebody comes in and casts Shrink on you a lot of times. As long as you can get really tiny, you'll be able to do the same thing. Halflings can kind of do it. Uh, so the trick is, is get people to shrink you if you want to have this ability. So there's uh, the Ghoul Arch Magus. Let's go ahead and go across. Once you've made it here, let's go up and take a look at the uh, Ghoul Lord Room. So you can see where we are in the map. Once again, nothing sees Inviso. Just keep going up all the way. And this is the room here. And the Ghoul Lord, what do you know? He's up. And he can see through Invisibility Undead, but you don't worry about him because he's so far away so ghoul lord is only level 47 not a big deal at all so there you go so we've made it this far he has this guy who's a wanderer he'll be around here and there'll be another wanderer so let's go down and cover the wanderers this guy too he's another wanderer and now i'm going to go out of here so you see all these guys here and we're going to make a quick run to the other side Okay, remember, watch this area. This is the bad tile. So how do we do this again? I've taken my levitation down. We go against this part, go against this part, go over the middle, just like that. Okay, so remember, do the opposite. Looks like a trap is not a trap. Looks good is a problem. Download the Brie Wall maps. You'll never have this problem again. So let's continue to go all the way back you can go through this one, back through here. And from here, we're gonna go back upstairs. And from there, I'm gonna show you one thing about the live side. It's very important to know. And even I get stuck in this area too. There we go. So you can follow along. I know the map is confusing, but uh, sometimes it works better without the height filter on. Okay, so here we are back to the area above where everything is. Now, problem is now is you've got this guy here and you've got the live side. This is where it transitions right here. So you want to get to a point where you're close enough but not too close because you're going to have to cast regular Invisible. So this is about a good radius to be here depending on your level. If that guy moves away, you can go something like this. Move right here and from here, you should be able to cast regular invisibility so let's get our regular invisible up you can see that he cannot see regular invisible so this is a transition point at least keep in mind you got to remember your transition areas you went from dead to live so if this guy comes back he's going to see us in aggro but yet when you cast this you don't want to be so close to these other guys that they will aggro so let's go 
down here and I'm going to quickly show you how to get to the other camps. There's generally two camps and yep he just went ahead and aggroed on me. What did I do? Okay so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mez him. I'm going to mez this guy here and I'm going to mez him. And this if you're a cleric or something you can always do something like you can root this guy here. The root will work too. Root them and then you're going to go with your memory blur. It does take a while to pop. So these guys were hit with my blur from my mez. But that's one way you can do it. If you are, if you do not have memory blur and you do not have mez, that could have been a problem. We're going to find out real quick exactly what the problem was when they wore off. It could be that one of them can see through invisibility. So it should be wearing off pretty soon. 50 seconds. Okay, so this room here is a safe room to sit in. If you get in here, you're going to be okay. And next thing, we're going to head over to the live side. I really want to know what happens. Let's go back out there. Let's do it all again. Let's see what the deal is. Indifferent. Ooh, look at this. So there you go. So one of these guys here can see through. Look at that. So a basalt gargoyle can see through. Some of them can actually see through uh, Inviso. I think it's random as to what gets spawned here. So this can be a real problem right here. Real problem. If this is one of the reasons why people probably don't want to go to the live side all the time. If you get to the dead side and you get to the point where the ice bone skeletons are and you cast invisibility undead, you can go anywhere on the, the dead side without worrying about it. But if you're up here and you're invisible, he can see you. This guy can't see you for some weird reason. But that guy can see you. So this you've got two guys right now that can see you. Okay, let's so let's say the only way you're gonna get through this is if you're a cleric or a paladin, uh, and you can go ahead and cast um, some you can cast atone or you can cast uh, pacify them. Let's try to cast invisibility undead. Let's see what happens now. See? Still, whoa, look at that. Still, so it's not that they're undead or anything. It's just that the problem is, is they can see through both forms of Inviso. So that what you have to do in this case is go like this. Is either, if you're going to the live side, you've got to get these guys clear. There's no other way you can ask the bedroom people of their camp and stuff, say, can I bring back a few gargoyles? I need to clear the way. Because once you get past these guys, you're okay. Or if you can feign death, you can drag some of them into the room, feign death, and then go past them. So now that we have Inviso up, let's see who can see. Once again, this guy, no, it's a guy in the back. Okay, so he can see. So here's what you do. If they're like this, go ahead, cast Calm on them. It's, you got 42 seconds to target the next one. And quickly ca cast Calm on them. Once you got that, then go back and hit invisibility he doesn't see the reaction radius should be small watch this he can see but watch there if you're real close you can run right by him like that that's the only way you're going to get past them if you're a melee class i'm sorry there's nothing you're going to do if you got two of those guys on you and they're level 33 there's no way you're going to get past them at all. You have to have somebody clear it or ask if you can train the stuff back to the bedroom or if the assassin group can take it. Luckily, the assassin group will probably have them cleared out. If they're not there, you're good to go. So then go down here, drop down here. Let's pop the map. I'm going to show you how to do the live side real quick. Okay, so from down here, the main thing to do is check these guys. The problem with the live side is it seems like there's always one weird mob out there that can see through Inviso. Somebody out there to spoil the show. Okay, so you've got this. 
Now, one thing I want to point out is see this yellow spot right here. There is a trap right here. This is a bad trap because if you fall in this trap, you're going to go in the pit here and you're going to get killed right there. There's three minotaurs right there. The way to get over this is either A, jump, and you don't always make the jump perfectly, or B, use levitation. If you can have levitation, hold the page up key and the forward arrow at the same time. Okay, let's go by here. As we approach it, you see, if you look really carefully, you can tell where the tile is. It's this tile right here. Notice how it's a little discolored here. I mean, you can barely tell. See, I'm sinking. See? Okay, so that's it. You can tell. See what happened right there? Okay, so once you get past this, you're in really good shape. So let's go like this. Let's continue to go. Get ready to take this tight turn coming up here. It's a real tidy right like that. And then this is all home free. You can go all the way down here. We're going to go like this, and we're going to head over to the Evil Eye Camp. People usually cover the Evil Eye Camp when they're camping the Crusader. Um, so they'll usually take that. So we're gonna, it's a long run. You may have one roamer in here, and we're going to continue going. And we made it to the Evil Eye right here. Drops a great bag, weight-reducing bag, and this time... We have the fabled evil eye. He's level 60. He can see through Inviso. So once again, the regular evil eye won't be able to see you. You have a Wan knight who doesn't see you. So let's go ahead and you can either swim or levitate over here and then go by him. He can't, even the fabled evil eye won't see you. So now you made this turn. You can see where we are. We're going to head over the Crusader camp real fast. Okay, let's go down. It's a long run again. So if they're camping the Crusader, you're going this way. And this way, you come out right here. This is a F Crusader Fortress. As you can see, he's dubious. Wow, good to know. He can see you. So nothing you can do right here. Only thing you can do is to pacify him. But it's good to know that th this is the problem with the live side. You're noticing, in comparison to the dead side, dead side, we went everywhere. Didn't even have to worry about it. Look at the live side. We have Inviso up. We have perfected Inviso. And still, stuff sees us. If we were not if we were a, a Dark Elf or something like that, they'd be on us. Just like that. So let's check to see which ones. You're right. So there's always a roamer. It's a random, random dude running around. Let's see what about him. And thank goodness they're not attacking us. Otherwise, they'd kill us. Uh, and, and once one starts on you, the whole family comes. You get the whole fam on you. Okay, we're going to go down here. And a Shin Ghoul Knight. Look at this. What are you doing down here? Okay, so this is a problem. Another surprise. Reason why you don't like the dead side. Okay, let's go ahead and blur him off. The same thing as a tone. So we've done that. Notice he, you won't see this on a TLP server. So now that he's there, let's go ahead and go back regular and because we want to know what sees it and what doesn't that's the big question okay now we're over here uh check this guy he can't see, he's okay here look at all these guys back here can't see can't see once again we are not kos this is the luxury but if you are, you're finding out now which ones see and which don't see. None of these can see in Viso. That's good. This is a Dar Knight, the one straight ahead. He is the Crusader placeholder. You have two other ones in here. You can see the levels. Okay, so far none of them can see you at all. So if a group is camping the Crusader, Sometimes what they do is they stay in here to camp the area so pick jumpers can't take down a crusader. So they'll camp right here. It's, this is the safest spot. They'll get the rest of their players to go up here and pull the rest of the stuff. Now we're here. Once again, we're going to run into that same guy. So let's cast some Vizzo Undead. Yeah, what in the world is this guy doing here?
I thought they were at war with each other, the dead side and the live side, you know, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and put back regular Inviso. Let's navigate out of here. And now we're going to go and we're going to head over to the king room. So let's go this way. There's two ways to do it. You can do it the roundabout way or you can take this way again. So we are right here. We're going to swing around this way here. So you can see right here, we're going to go around. And this guy here, remember, I think he's the one that can see Inviso. Amazing, huh? Who gave him that ability? And this is the way to go. It's right down below. There's a way you can go from above here. You can take this long route from above. That's another way to go too. So we'll show you that way. I'm gonna go back around here and go a long way. This is a pretty safe way. And we're gonna come all the way out to this spot. And we're gonna continue along here. It's really not that bad. Let's check this guy. He can't see him through. So you're good. It's a long run. Sometimes you have a bard or something. They can, uh, you can set up in the fortress, and a bard can pull all the way from the noble back there. Good puller will be able to do that. So now we're going to go around here. We're getting close, really close. And I like to go this way here. Okay, he can't see. Okay, look at this. Another guy could see through Inviso. Look at that. And this guy can. Right up on top around here is where the noble will spawn. So this is uh, the noble camp. He drops a white gold necklace. From here, we're going to go back in. Let's check all of these guys. Okay, so there's just one guy here somewhere around and where was he one of these guys that could see through inviso you remember him maybe it was this viz guy here yes it's a viz level 30 can see right through inviso we're going to mark all these he can see through inviso too so you know you're going to find yourself fighting your way through the whole thing here there's another guy he can see through so it looks like the viz knight has the ability to see through Inviso. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little further. And we're going to continue down here. So this night so far, this room has the uh, huge water elemental in it right in the middle. You're going to go through a fake wall on the left. So Zolnite. Another Zolnite. Stay to the left like this. You can see where we're going. We're heading up to the herbalist. Herbalist is right here. Let's check uh, this guy here. Granite Gargo cannot see me. It's strange. Some can, some cannot. Core Shaman cannot see through Inviso. Check these guys. Cannot. And Dar Knight cannot. Jin Shaman in here. Let's see. 44 cannot see Inviso. And this guy cannot see Inviso. Okay, guys, we've made it to the Frog Lock King. And this is a regular Frog Lock King. He's level 47. He can see through Inviso. He is dubious. So thank goodness he's dubious. He's not going to jump us. Otherwise, we would have to kill him. But while we get in here, let me go ahead and point out what the king room looks like and what's difficult about it. So in the king room, you're going to have a lot of things going on. For example, this Dar Knight. He's a roamer. He can't see you. You have this guy over here. And you have the Bok Bok over there. And then this Dar Knight is a wanderer. Okay, so that's... If that were it, that would be pretty easy. But let's go through here. Let me show you something else. Take a look up here. You have the tactician up there. He can see you too. And the core shaman can see you. The way the aggro works in here is you have to be very careful with how you pacify them. And you say, well, how do you pacify this whole thing here? How do you possibly do that? 
you have to get in here and go like this. If you're a, a non, say, um, if you're a class that can do this, a chanter or a cleric, you have to be able to target them in a third person mode like this. Then you cast your pacify on them, pa cast it through the wall or have somebody else target them and cast it through the wall. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you can always use the Noma vision. Sometimes you can go a little bit like this and there is a tactician. So a frog lock tactician, you can spell that. If you can see part of him through this, go like this. See how I spell it like that? And then you can target him. Once you've got him targeted like this, then you can go ahead and you can cast Pacify. Let me go ahead and calm him. There you go, I've calmed him right there. And he's been pacified. And this is how you would go ahead and do this room. If you have a team, for example, somebody like an enchanter, a cleric, they can target your target and you can go ahead and get these guys pacified and do this. What you're going to need to do to pull this room, you want to pacify the tactician, you want to kill the guy that's roaming the hallway, then you want to get in here and you want to pacify this guy, Core Shaman. Then you want to try and pacify the uh, Guck Knight and the Bach Knight. Then you can pull the king. So you're going to need to do four pacifies. If your calm is 42 seconds, you're going to have to work very, very fast. You're not going to have to worry about that, but pacify the four. And depending on your level, your pull, you may get him to come straight out and be able to take him on all by yourself. If all goes bad, there's one nice thing about the king room. You run out here, run through the secret wall here, and you're out of lower guck. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and recap how this works. The key camps in the, de the live side are the crusader camp and basically the king. The rest of the stuff, as you can see here, is not really worth it. On the dead side... Your big camps are going to be, let me just go back a little bit. The real key camps that start at the top, we have the Hamlord up here. We have the Frenzy and Sentinel. And then we have the Savant, Cavalier, and uh, Ghoul Assassin. That's kind of one camp. The Sage and Executioner are usually the same camp too. So those are those camps and the whole thing about it. And if you miss some of the spots and miss some of the mobs that uh, cast, they can see through Inviso, please go back and watch the video again and just take your time and go through it because you're going to be finding stuff that will surprise you. I was surprised myself going through this. And once again, why do people go to the dead side versus the live side? Because as you can see here, even on the live side, there's some mobs that see Inviso, just random mobs. There's a Wan Knight somewhere near the fort that saw me, two Viz Knights that saw me. On the dead side... In contrast, none of the mobs see through Inviso Undead, none, except for the Ghoul Lord. And you have no problem over it. Also, the good, all the good loot is on that side anyway. That probably explains why nobody goes to the dead side, the live side. And also, let's focus one more time on the traps. The trap by the Minotaur Elder, very important to know about that trap. Also, the next traps you have to know about, the two key ones. Uh, near the Hamlord, make sure you know about those two uh, camps, those two traps right there. And finally, to recap it, a lot of people think that it's okay to go into the live side from the back door, but I'd highly recommend against that. I would recommend that you come in through where the Sukor point is and take your chances to come down here just because this area is always camp and you've seen how to navigate. This is the most difficult spot here when it transitions from uh, live, dead, live. And over here but if you can get past that you're gonna be pretty good okay everybody good luck on your camp down in lower guck I hope you guys have learned a lot and can navigate this let me know what you think and leave a comment and have fun playing out there